Just like they opened the second with a goal in a hurry. And you'd have to back them now with this breeze coming home. They trail by two points. Polk gets the ball out to Bannock. Very wide. It's a long way home at Waverley. Ryan up towards half forward. Gale back on the ground after serving a penance in the third quarter. Hogg a long way out. Well played, Jeff Hogg. Approaches 50. Goes for a long one. Just across the face. And through four behind and narrow the margin to one point. Kevin Bartlett. Eric Leach. Well, long way to go in this quarter, but they'd be delighted with this first couple of minutes. And Cloak started the ball rolling on a couple of occasions from the centre. Danny Frawley to Muller. And he should mark this and does at half back. And Muller, former Carlton player. Now he's got McAdam out wide, but he elects to kick a high floater towards centre wing. Cloak again sets himself wow. and takes the mark. What a game he's playing. Over to Knights now. Knights should go straight and kick long, and he does. Oh, here's Mark Lee at the back again. Oh, he couldn't take this one. The ball thumped away and over the line. David Cloak, tremendous game across that half-back line. He's really assisted his centre half-back, Terry Keyes. Made it a lot easier for him. Gee, there's a responsibility on players like Danny Frawley and Muller now. Back in defence on a few of these tall Richmond forwards. Comes to Craven. High kick, cloak again. Three votes, mark number 11. Sideways pass to Nichols. Nichols from the front end of the square, long to the goal square. Lee, again, oh, not quite. Comes to Hogg, Hogg for number four. Hooked it too far. Gee, the crowd is uh, making a lot of noise. A good crowd too, Bertie. It is a very good crowd. It's uh, all Richmond's way at the moment. Scores level. Well, 68 apiece. A lot of pressure on Denny Frawley, the way that ball's been belted, belted down there. Here's little Stuart Griffiths, punches it to the ground. Nash, gee, they've got some good small men. Oh, free kick. <laughs> oh, he's grabbed round the neck, Stephen Ryan. This man, Trent Nichols, he and David Cluck, the best men on the ground. Now it's Knights nice shuffling in a hand pass, but in the meantime, there was a free kick. It's Knights. Nice. Now loose men everywhere. He chips it across the ground to set a wing. This is Justin Pickering. Short one is on again to the space. Oh, no mark. Goes to ground and they're able to rebound here, the Saints. Through Tim Peake and the loose man is out there. It's McAdam. McAdam will look for Rice. Rice has got enormous pace. He should get to this mark. He does so and steadies and will go back and take his kick. Beautiful delivery there from Gilbert McAdam. Getting Dean Rice right on the chest. And poor youngster Anthony Bannock caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Do you go forward to one or drop back onto your man? Well, he got neither. Rice has kicked three. For nearly his best haul in his league career. This to break the deadlock. Good effort. A goal. and killed the lead by those six points. There's Dean Rice, four goals, one from that forward pocket. Spent a bit of time uh, either in the centre or as a ruck rover in the third quarter. He's a very good player and uh, accurate kicking as well. Four goals, one. He's made the most of his opportunities. Well, it's a nail-biter here in a crowd of about 33 or 34,000. Well, you just don't know who's going to win it. Morris. There's Bannock. Hasn't cleared the centre square yet. Grant for St Kilda. No mark. Touch off the boot. Play on was that call. Craven. Cloak gets him. Comes to Griffiths. He's caught in the tackle. Young. McAdam. Burke. Look at the pressure. The tackling. Good stuff. Harvey off the ground. Again off the ground. He's got it out in front of him now. Well played by the teenager Robert Harvey. Rice again. He's proved a handful for Bannock, hasn't he? He's just been a little bit too experienced. And he's moved around all the time. That's what a good forward's all about. And plenty great, of movement. Great pace, Bernie. Yes. Too far out to score. Lead by Lowe. Lowe within distance now. Well, this is against the trend. 
perhaps of the match and certainly of the game with the way the breeze is going if St Kilda can kick two in a row at this end. Just an experience there by the Richmond defence. They should have filled that gap there and made it difficult for Stewie Lowe to lead. But uh, that second quarter, Drew, they also kicked five goals. So uh, I think more, actually more goals have been kicked down to this end of the ground. St Kilda have led at every change by two points, eight and eight. They now lead by six. Low from about 40 metres, steers it through. 192 here, they paid over $146,000. Bernie Quinlan had it paid, it would have been extra $8 or so too. Centre of the ground, Keys, the half forward line, tapped down by Gale. Here's a chance for Young on the left foot, he fires in a goal. down 11-8 Richmond St Kilda 12-8 they certainly won't you wouldn't expect it from this Richmond side either and they're full of tenacity and a good move also Gale playing at centre half forward and two leading players Mark Lee and Jeff Hogg playing in that forward line virtually has two full forwards Just one straight kick the difference. Under 19 minutes to go. Kitschke down to Craven. Coglin went through. Nichols off the ground. Comes here through to McQueen. Up to half forward, but the mark taken by Grant. David Grant. Well, plenty of former Tasmanians out on the park today. Burke. His kick to half forward. Rice again! We've seen a couple of great marks today, and that was fantastic there by Dean Rice. A tremendous quarter. A lead by Wilson, and Brian Wilson, the former Brownlow medalist, has it in the forward pocket. Well, he's hardly had a kick all day. Three for the entire day. One kick for the entire day. That's his third mark. Difficult angle. It was an attempted at banana, I think, but missed by a long way. Oh, David, oh, he went the bounce, David Cloak, and has nearly lost it. Lambert, a bit of soccer tactics, shades of Pelé, then that was good play. And again, some soccer tactics by Justin Pickering, and well done by Stephen Ryan to take that to the line and just settle things down a bit and put it over. David Cloak must think it's too easy out there after that <laughs> four bounces earlier along the members' wing. But he had time, Bertie, he looked around and said, how easy is this? Had a bounce and muffed it. But here he goes again. Geez, played a great game. Jason Daniels, round the corner, oh, a bit of staging going on then, good umpiring, not to pay that, Tim Powell, gets a hurry kick to it, he's got backup support, Trent Nichols, sensational game he's played, on it with the McQueen, oh they've got the loose man going here, Matthew Knights, beautiful kick by Knights to Gale, and he's taken the mark, 45 metres out from goal, Brendan Gale, who has a brother playing AFL football. Michael is his brother with Fitzroy. Now, what a vital kick. This kick could make the scores level because Richmond trail by six points. He will have to kick from 50 metres, so it's not easy. Slight breeze behind him. Brendan Gale kicks it, swing back, not far enough. And one behind only, but the ball is down on their forward zone and they trail by five points. It's Peter Hudson and Kenny Sheldon, very, very concerned, I would think. The Richmond with Kilda with three to one on to win this game. And now no certainties to win it. Griffiths takes the mark. Goes on with it quickly. It's wide down towards the pocket, not well directed, and Frawley takes the mark. He goes across the face of goals with the hand pass. This one's away to Cummings. Now Daniels. Well, we looked up Drew and there was no St Kilda player to kick it to. McAdam on the defensive 50 metre. Gilbert McAdam, the McGarry medalist, over centre wing to Rice again, who's starred on the forward line. Morris. Round the corner for Russell Morris. Low swamped. 
comes to Knights. Chance for the Tigers now. Wide open. Here's Ryan. He's got time to fumble. Stephen Ryan round the corner. Hogg gets an awkward half volley. Craven for St Kilda. Played a good game, uh, Danny Craven. Beautiful kick. Robert Harvey, the loose man, has been created. He'll go inside, or outside, I should say. Nathan Burke and David Cloak, the old war horse, chasing him. Nathan Burke for the half forward line almost. Well, it is a good mark to Dean Rice again. He's had a great quarter, Dean Rice. And he's kicked four goals, Bernie. That's right. It's been fantastic. One goal in this uh, final term. He'll be shooting for his second. Well, that's a great mark again. He's moved around. He's provided a target. He's been in everything on that forward line. And what a great effort by David Cloak. He chased uh, Nathan Burke right around that boundary line. He must be tired. He's rucked all day, but he kept chasing. Dean Rice. A chance to make the margin 11 points from 40 metres. Kicks. Oh, it looks good. Five goes to Dean Rice. St Kilda supporters with just over 40 minutes of play left and they lead by 11 points the Saints. Here's that great mark again by Dean Rice he's doing everything a forward should do at the moment he looks like he's played there all his career he's moving, he's leading and he's kicking straight for goal more importantly Brian Wilson has had a very quiet day so they need Dean Rice to do a lot on that forward line And now 11 points midway through the last quarter. Five goals to Rice, and I repeat, he kicked us 14 in 82 games prior to today. Usually a defender. Hand pass into McAdam. Long kick by McAdam. Wilson in the pocket. Keeps the ball in play. Dwyer's there. Well done, Bannock. That's deliberate, though. Three kicks and Gilda. Well, the umpire, if he, had, if he was to be consistent, he had to free kick him for that. Yep, no option, Drew. No option. It was uh, definitely a deliberate act there by Anthony Bannock. Russell Morris has the job for St Kilda. In a low-scoring game, you'd nearly think that a 17-point lead might be enough if he can get this. Very narrow angle. He misses to the near side for a point. Still plenty of time. Two goals the margin. Uh, Scott Turner kicks all free kick against David Clark. There's a mark anyway to McAdam. He's a good player, Bernie. He's done well, McAdam. They're on ball players. I think McAdam, since he's been moved to the centre, has made a huge difference. Oh, dangerous pass because it was too high. A chance now for the Tigers. Justin Pickering coming down centre wing. Chips it across. It was a bad pass because he kicked it straight to Newport. Newport on the Cummings and the Saints go forward again. And a mark to Dean Rice. Well, what a last quarter. Nine marks and 16 kicks for Dean Rice. He's had Bennett moved off him too. Jason Daniels across the half forward line to Wilson, who's got it 50 metres from goal. He's got a bit of height on the mark too with Scott Turner. So this would really test him for distance. He's going for the torpedo, he comes up 15 metres short. Tapped out by Powell to Nichols. Well, he didn't get it first touch. Neither did Powell. Nichols has a second go at it and sprints out of defence. Run down by Dwyer. Comes to Griffiths. Desperation stuff. Good kick by Griffiths to switch direction to Lambert. Lambert comes back onto the left and tries to run around. He does so. That's better to kick it long to half forward. Matthew Nice tries to tap it down. Nace was there also, taken by Nathan Burke. Under pressure, they're doing well, the Saints. That's David Grant looking for Kitsky. Tapped away from him. Little Craven goes in and grabs it. Danny Craven has been a good player. Loose men everywhere for the Saints. Pekin receives from Harvey. The short one is on. Stewie Lowe, good strong mark. Now he'll still have to kick from 50. He's got a loose man on his own in Pekin in the forward pocket and he's found him. Good play by Pekin. He continued running down the ground after he passed the ball to Stewie Lowe. He hasn't left himself an easy shot at goal because he's uh, on a tighter angle but closer in than Stewie Lowe. Well, it'll be difficult for Richmond if Pekin kicks this because the margin at the moment is two goals. 
So a three-goal deficit would be hard to peg back. Tim Pekin, former Fitzroy player. Oh, he guides this one in beautifully right through the middle. Second goal to Tim Pekin, 14-9 to 11-9, the Saints lead by three. Yes, and you get the feeling that St Kilda are going to run away with this now. They're just starting to use the ball a lot better than Richmond. That's where they've let themselves down, the Tigers. They've had plenty of the ball. They've got it around that half-forward line, and on most occasions they've just given it away. Too many turnovers by the young Tigers side. Ten minutes and 40 seconds left. Three straight kicks the margin. Richmond still with the breeze, but needing four shots at goal to win. And lucky mark there, perhaps to Keyes, wearing the bicycle shorts. He goes across the ground to Pickering. Daniels didn't have his eyes on the ball. It had to be a free kick anyway for the mark to Justin Pickering. Just get a feeling this game's not over yet. Uh, oh, I don't think it's over. Lee makes a lead, but Pickering goes longer. Big climb down there by Muller. Here's a chance. Comes to Nash, and Nash goes. Well, he's kicked his fourth. And the margin back to 12 points. Lead the next goal. Look at Cloak again out of the centre. Mark Lee. The loose one comes to Nichols. He taps it on. That was good play. Justin Pickering should soccer it off the ground. Jason Daniels has got it. Oh, he's grabbed by the jumper. Now Nathan Burke on the McAdam. McAdam, a little chip pass looking for Morris. Keys races at him and forces the ball over the line. Still plenty of time. Nine and a half minutes of play left. And two goals that they have to make up. Richmond. Morris in ruck against Cloak. Pretty easy for Cloak. Lambert, another hand pass. This one's taken by Harvey into McAdam, who's had plenty of it in this last quarter. Back to Harvey. He wasn't the right option. He's lost it. Comes to Knights. Over the top he goes. Good play. McQueen. Long kick to the forward line. Frawley did well on Hogg. Nash after it. Gale. St Kilda out of trouble. McAdam again. This game being played for four, four premiership points in round one, not a grand final. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great game, Bernie, hasn't oh, it's it? It's been frantic all the way through, hasn't it? Some tremendous tackling. The endeavour of both sides, you just could not question it. They've been 100% uh, effort all the way through. And uh, no better example than David Clay. Oh, well done by Kitsky to McAdam. Jim McAdam's been a good player. He's low, but three Richmond players charging at him, and the ball's forced over the line. But really, the back line has done pretty well on Stewie later today, Bertie. Well, I was just looking at the size of Turner in the stats, 195 centimetres, and he hasn't made it easy for Stewie Lowe. He hasn't taken his usual amount of marks. He's dropped quite a few. Well, Lowe's 193, so he's got the hard advantage. Here comes Knights. To half forward. Muller did pretty well. Cummings across the ground. Kitschke lopes after it. Young after him. Oh, Kitschke didn't clear the area. Look at Nash in there after it. Kitschke again going back with St Kilda. Daniels. Whistle's gone. St Kilda free kick. And it comes back to Damien Kitschke, who needs the breather, I reckon. Well, I'll tell you what, if Richmond get the, the next goal, it's going to be on for young and old. It'll be a fantastic finish. There's Kitschke going to Cummings. Cummings at half back gone short. A lot of loose men there for St Kilda. This is Newport. Newport straight up to the half forward line. Low in the centre of the pack. Can't take the mark. Now he tried to get that out. That was tough. I thought he was trying to get it out. Here's Robert Harvey. Kicking across the face. Chance for Pekin. Oh, handball straight to Griffiths and to the top. Tigers are away and going. Griffiths. Good play by the young fella. Ross couldn't run him down, but tried to. Oh, that kick straight to Kitsky. He's got backup support from Grant. Grant goes short and finds coming at half back. They had their chance there, the Tigers. Yes, Griffiths took it too far. It was a good chase by Rice. 
Three to two, St Kilda here, but Richmond will come out with it. Or will they? McQueen very tired. Craven comes up with it. 12 points the difference, St Kilda in front. Morris flies. At the back, Bannock. Not a great kick. Lee was met solidly. Little Burke there. Bannock off the ground. To Nichols. Chance for the Tigers, but Nichols got a great tackle by Dwyer. It's Wilson McAdam. He can't get his hand to a hand pass. Oh, he had it a long time. Ryan. Desperation stuff here. Stephen Ryan walks around. Out to centre half forward to Hogg on the bounce. Caught by Frawley. It spills to Daniels. Great tackle, Hogg. Now Frawley. Oh, this is fantastic football. This is Frawley. Look at him, the captain. Coming up the centre of the ground. Kicks it off the side of the boot, but he's got a man there, and it's Harvey. He's a wobbly old kick. The short one is on. Stewie Lowe. What can he do with it? He races out to the half forward line. Turner's after him. He's got him. Gets his boot to it and it trickles over the line and the crowd are roaring. Some of the best tackles you'd ever see in that passage of play. Now, is that worth a free kick or not? No, he actually got his boot to it, Drew. Yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah, no free. Float against low. Nathan Burke swings around and a high floating kick to half for Griffiths in front. That's a free kick to Richmond. Now, how much time, Drew? Five minutes of play left. And the margin still 12 points. Two goals for Richmond for a draw. Oh, good mark to Muller. Fires out the hand pass to Daniels. Beautiful pass by him to Morris. And Morris, I think, too far out to score. But you'd have to think another goal here by St Kilda would wrap it up. But then I was thinking, maybe that uh, eight minutes ago. Russell Morris having a long run up at this. Rice offers a short lead. He's kicked five goals, Dean Rice. Morris has hoisted it pretty high. Won't make it. And a rush behind might be the difference because that is now a 13-point lead. And Richmond need three goals. Yes, they couldn't really afford that uh, behind then, I don't think, Bernie. Are they running out of time, the Tigers? They've kicked three goals and they've only got four minutes to go. And they need another three goals. Well, they're still not out of it. They want... Although now they're in problem, big problems, because Kitsky brings it forward. Is that a mark for Craig Smith? That is. Oh, he's going to kick straight across goal, and the mark will be taken there by Turner. Turner, or oh, dangerous kick. One on one out here. Daniels caught. Taken away by Justin Pickering. Was good play. Now he's brought the ground. The tackling is fantastic. Clark over the top, straight to Burke. Burke, a short kick up towards Dean Rice and Harvey. Grabbed by Harvey from 30 metres. And Robert Harvey slams it down. And that's shut, shut the game. Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1991 AFL Premiership season. Tremendous game of football out there at VFL Park today. In the end, it was in Kilda by 25 points. Probably a score a little bit flattering. The Tigers just didn't make enough use of the ball on their forward line. The Saints had good goal kickers in Rice 5, low 4, 2 each to Harvey and Pekin. And for the Tigers, Nace finished up with 4, Hogg 3 and Lambert 2. No reports by the umpires today. 33,192 fans at the season opener at VFL Park. Scotty Palmer's punchline.